So what we will be doing here, we would be transforming this report. And I really don't get it why organizations go for best practices for the different processes. But when it comes to like report development, uh, they just don't care. And and their Power BI or any other report, if you, if you look in their organization, they look really, really ugly. But what we will be doing here, we will be showing you how you can create beautiful, beautiful reports for your organizations. Let me just hit Control A, delete this so we have blank canvas. So first of all, what I'm going to show you two very important and very famous shapes in PowerPoints. One is rectangle, another one is rounded rectangle. What's the difference between these two? So if you are using rectangle, for any purpose, you cannot change the borders of, uh, of this rectangle shape. But if you are using rounded rectangle, you can see the borders are rounded. You can actually make it rectangle by dragging and dropping this uh, small yellow icon. You can play with it. You can make it a pill shape. Actually, you can make it a rectangle. So this is the main difference between these two. Let's just play with this one. Uh, for our first example, we can see how we can make our cards in Power BI. Uh, look different Go to shapes. Let's first select oval shape. I want to draw a circle if you want to draw a circle you first have to hold shift and then left click and draw it Now it will draw a perfect circle for you Now what I'll do I'll copy the circle click here and control D which will duplicate the circle so I have the circle again. I will place on top of our previous circle. Hold shift, decrease the size. I'm holding shift so it doesn't go to the oval shape. And I want to key, I want to bring it in between of, of our previous circle or the circle which is in the background. Now there are multiple things you can do. What I want to do, I want to cut this circle and take it out from our outer circle. This, this is basically the inner circle. I just want to keep the outer circle. To do this, what you can do, you can click on inner circle, then outer circle. You can see shape format over here. Now you can see different options for merge shapes. You can go to merge shapes. You can combine or you can fragment. You can intersect, you have different options. If I do combine, I have the shape I want and you can do it other way too. You can click on fragment. So what fragment would, would do, it would break it down in two circles, one inner circle, one outer circle. I would basically get the same output, which I was getting with combine. Now I can click on this circle and take it out. Now you have this circle, right? Now I don't have any use of this for now, so I will delete this one. Change the color of this card to, let's just say, blue. And yeah, maybe something else. Mm, this blue. And now I want to change the color of this one to the exact same color of this one. So what I can do, I can go to home, format painter, and just like that, I have the same color as this one. Now I want to place it like this. First, what I want to do, I want to um, get rid of this, uh, the line on the circle. Go to shape format, line, I don't want to have any line, so I'm, I clicked on no line, and I want to bring it in front. So I will send it to back, bring to front, 
bring forward okay so what is wrong with this one send backward send to back maybe change the color yeah okay I'm changing the color so I can see the circle is on top I want to remove the line from this one also no line now what I want to do I want to delete the circle outside of this square or rectangle whatever it is now what I can do I can go to insert shapes bring one rectangle and draw like this so I have hidden the circle with the help of this square or rectangle because I want to delete that part of the circle so what I can do I can first select the circle because I am selecting the circle because I want to keep this one and then I will select this the the other shape now I will go to shape format merge shapes subtract I can do the exact same thing with this one insert shapes and I can select the circle first and then this shape subtract and I have some kind of designing on the card it's up to you what type of design you want some people put some stars some people put circles filled circles it's up to up to your preference now what I want to do I want to decrease the trans increase the transparency of this circle so it looks like now it's embedded in this in this square shape or if you want to play with it more you can you can go ahead and play with it and we can bring in another shape let's just say pentagon uh, I will do the exact same thing with pentagon which I did with circle now I want to duplicate this one control D placing on top of this one reducing the size um, so we have pentagon and what no instead of pentagon I want to bring hexagon hexagon is easy to play with control D now the distance is same from all the sides I have already clicked on this one then on the outer outer hexagon shape format merge shapes combine this time we will do combine now what I can do I can go ahead and place this one over here rotate the size on our card I can hit shift and then hold my left mouse and drag this to this area and it will select everything and then I can hit control plus G it will group all these items I want to bring this over here now to ungroup it what I will do I will hit control shift G control shift G now now these are ungrouped we will do the same thing to cut the hexagon which is outside of this shape so what we will do we will insert one two two rectangles control D one I will place it over here select hexagon because we want to keep hexagon and then select the shape you don't want to keep go to shape format merge shapes and we can go to subtract now bring this one over here align it with the other shape select hexagon first and then this shape go to merge shapes and subtract now we have this remaining um, 
but first what I have to do okay I can click this one and then this one subtract now it is gone now I can decrease the transparency no line and I have some designing on my card it's really up to you what type of design you want to have on your card but the purpose of this was to show you how you can play with different types of shapes in PowerPoint. <laughs>